everyone, in this video I want to share how I use the bullet journal in my personal life and as a creative entrepreneur. Make sure to check out parts 1 and 2 where I talk about the bullet journal framework and the basics and some of my essential supplies, including this notebook right here. As you've seen in part one, one of the first things you want to establish is your index. And in your index, you want to mark down all of the page numbers um, as you fill them out and then describe what it's about. One of the ways in which I use my bullet journal is to keep track of appointments and events. The future log is a huge part of the bullet journal. While the monthly log allows you to plan ahead within the month, the future log allows you to plan for appointments and events beyond that month and throughout the year. Sometimes the appointment or event may be linked to a project page. Then I write those page numbers down next to the event so that I can link them together. This page here is all about the spring craft show that I'm going to participate in in April and it just is just a brain dump of all of my ideas. So I talk about some of the things that I want to uh, produce or create. Um, these are just some important things. I put stars next to them that I need to remember like create a large sign, change out my chalkboard sign, etc. And then just down here are just some more ideas that I added at a different time, as you can tell that I use a different pen. And again, note that I wrote my page number here at the bottom, page 27, so then this is what goes in my index. Another way in which I use my bullet journal is to take notes during meetings. So at this particular meeting for the Reed Turner uh, Botanical Artist Circle meeting, um, I just titled it up here at the top and then took down my notes down here. And then I also have a couple of handouts from that meeting, so I'm going to keep that either in the back of my bullet journal or just have a separate folder for them. And again, I designate a page number down here, and then I put it in my index. This is an example of what my monthly page looks like. And here on the left, I list all of the days of the month, and then put in appointments, events, and other things that I should remember for that month on the left side. And on the right side, I list my expenses for the month. And that's where the creative entrepreneur side of me comes in. I want to make sure that I'm keeping track of my expenses. And at the end of the month, I take that information and put them into an Excel spreadsheet. Again, one of the things that I love about the bullet journal is that, you know, you can have lots of different apps to put together all of your appointments, track your expenses, take notes, etc. But the bullet journal combines all of that into one. So that's why I love it. And this is an example of what my daily logs look like. As you can see that I don't have one page for one day. Sometimes I combine many pages into one day. It really depends on how many tasks I have, um, whether those tasks relate to a certain project, etc. But for the most part, I just, you know, almost every day keep track of what else do I need to do. Um, this way, if I do have tasks that roll over onto the next day, I don't have to write it again because it's on the same spread. And then I can just look at the previous day and just remember to, you know, mentally do it, um, mentally add it for the next day. This is another example of um, how I started a project page here. I actually started this page's project um, on the page before, as you can see, project. And then I have some notes um, about the project, and these are just some practice for that project. And I continued it onto this page. And then on the very next page, I have my daily log again. So it's totally okay to have you know, like mismatch things from page to page. The important thing is that you're starting a new page when you have a new project. So thanks again for joining me in my video. I hope you learn a lot about the bullet journal and are excited to start your own. Thanks.